In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up SMDR on your TDE, NCP, NS and NSX systems. Also, I'll show you how to test it using HyperTerminal. So smash that like button and let's get started. Just a few things to get out the way before we start. There are no special activation keys required for SMDR to work. It works right out the box. The TDE, NCP, NS1000 do support SMDR over RS-232, but in this video we're only going to be covering SMDR over LAN. So once you've logged in with your installer level password or your admin level password with the special permissions, on the left hand side you go down the bottom and hit maintenance, number 11, and then number 1, main. Once you're in, the first tab is the SMDR tab. Under port, make sure it says LAN. LAN is selected, not none. This is an NS700, so it only supports SMDR over LAN, not RS232. And then down the bottom, under print information, just select print on incoming call and intercom, because that's pretty useful. You can print out the other features if you're using them, otherwise leave them as no print. So once you've done that, just hit apply. And then up the top, click on the second tab, SMDR options. So in here, if you do have a DID set up, um, select name and number. That way, the DID names that you've set up in the DID table will show up in the logs. So now down the bottom in the LAN section, you've got your SMDR port 2300. I would always advise to change that port to something that you've made up, just because I don't like to use the default ports just for security reasons. The SMDR password, PCC SMDR, again, I would advise to change that as well. Now take note of the little message at the bottom, perform system reset for changes to take effect. So of course if you change anything in that little LAN box, you'll need to reboot the phone system for it to actually work. If you're getting any value out of this video, just smash that like button, it really helps me out. For the sake of this video, I'm going to leave everything as default, I won't change it because then I've got to reboot the system anyway. So I'll just hit OK out of that and then we'll head over to the HyperTerminal program. Now you can use TerraTerm or Putty if you don't have HyperTerminal. If you do want HyperTerminal, I will be putting a link in the description below for you. So you open up HyperTerminal, uh, just give it a name, testing for now, or SMDR, and hit OK. And down the bottom, connect using TCP IP. and you enter the IP address of the phone system. Don't forget to change the port number to whatever you've changed it. In this case, I've left it as 2300. Then you click OK. And once you get that little dash, that means it is connecting, it's waiting for the credentials. So the username is SMDR in capitals. I do not think you can change that, so I guess it's okay to leave it as default. If you have found a way to change it, just comment it below and let us all know. And the password is obviously the one that you've changed it to. So once you press enter here, it'll start spitting out all the traffic, all the SMDR traffic. So I'll just enlarge that and there you go. It starts spitting out all the traffic. It does have a buffer. I'm pretty sure the buffer is a thousand entries. It could be 2000 on the newer systems, but, but I know on the TDA and TDE systems, I'm very sure it is only a thousand entries. So just keep that in mind. And that's pretty useful in case the SMDR server goes offline. At least the system keeps a little buffer. And then once it reconnects, it spits everything back out. So you don't really lose much. So before you even think about touching the ACD software, just make sure the SMDR works on TerraTerm or Putty or HyperTerminal, because that's the most basic setup. So once you've got it working here, then you can move on to the software, or you can hand it over to the people that are looking after the software and you can be confident that your system is spitting out the SMDR as it should. Alright, so the next step would be to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really enjoy making these videos and I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Take care and see you later.